Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be looking at all my empties and declutters for February 2020 and I'm really really pleased to say I've been keeping track of everything coming in and going out and I had 46 new products coming in and I have got 60 products going out. So I'm going to start off with my empties and then I will go on and do my declutters for February. So I am really, really happy. I think I'm finally starting to get in control. This is everything that is going out this month. I think that's amazing. So these are my declutters. These are my empties. So let's get straight on with the empties. I'm going to fly through. Now I have got no shampoos and conditioners this month. And I think it's because I am shocking and I keep opening new bottles. And I think I've got about 12 bottles of shampoo and conditioner on the go right now which is like outrageous i'm going to work really hard to get some of those in this month's empties coming up so like my march empties but anyway on with february so the first two things i've got here so these are two different things but they're the same product and it is these little sachets of the aussie three minute um miracle reconstructors these are just basically hair masks they're great i really like them i have loads of these i grab them usually from latest in beauty you usually get five of these as one of your selections so i love them they're so easy to use one sachet does me one mask so yeah that is gone those two um next thing i have is a face mask and this is by floripy and it is a sunflower lemon and it is a to even skin tone mask so floripy sheet masks Every single one I've ever tried has been really, really lovely. Um, this was infused with lemon aromatherapy. Um, and I actually do think it did brighten my skin. I've had some of the calming ones and sleepy ones and things. And they've all been lovely. So I really would recommend these masks. I think they're beautiful. And next thing, absolutely amazing. I love these. And it's just the Redox bath salts. They're only about a pound. And um, they do quite a few baths. And they're really, really lovely. So it's a repurchase. I get them a lot. Um, staying on the bath and shower theme, we have this original sauce shower gel in the shade rhubarb and raspberry. I think this was from Glossy Box, I want to say. Um, it was a really nice um, product. I would buy it again, but I've got loads of stuff to get through. But you can usually pick these up for about a pound anyway. So um, yeah, really, really nice. It was a nice fragrance. Um, this is a mascara that I was, um, it's come to the end of its life. It's probably more of a declutter than an empty, but it is definitely past its best. And it's just a Max Factor False Lash Epic Mascara. Um, and the wand, if you don't know, looks a bit like that. A bit of a, a spiky wand. I pretty much almost set. I've got a couple of mascaras that I really love now, so I probably won't repurchase it. Next thing, I've got loads of these in my collection. So if you see these showing up, it's not the same one. Um, last year, the year before, I got, I think it was seven birch boxes when they were on special. I've got a video on it somewhere if you look back. But um, yeah, they were selling all the birch boxes off. So I bought seven of them and I ended up with seven of the same box. So it serves me right. But anyway, so I had loads of these calf kits and hand creams. They're quite nice. They smell a bit like um, baby lotion, but they're a great size for me to keep in my pocket at work. So I quite like them for that. Next thing is Namora Vicha Cleansing Firm. Um, so this is just a cleanser. It's like a thick pale blue cream and it does firm up and some people don't like it i really do enjoy it and um, i have another one as well i've got a few of these actually and um, so now it's quite a nice cleanser i left my face feeling nice and clean it's one that you often use in the morning as a morning cleanse um, this is a repeat item. It's my Mitchum deodorant. This is amazing. This is in powder fresh. You get them in sprays, sticks and roll-ons and they're a really good, um, I was going to say foundation. They're a really good deodorant. So if you're a bit sweaty, these honestly, I'm pretty sure they'll keep you dry. There's no aluminium in them aluminium in them and yeah they're great. And yes, I repurchase it. It's pretty much one of the only um deodorants that I get again and again and again and I've used it probably for about 10 years or more. I absolutely love it. I really rate it. Um, next thing I have is a body cream from Rituals and it's a ritual of karma and these as you know I love Rituals. The body creams are nice. They are a little bit greasy but your skin feels soft and then they're so keen and they're gorgeous and this scent is let me just sniff it just to remind me. Oh it's 
so nice it is really really pleasant it is gorgeous what does it say it has in it it is Holy Lotus and Organic White Tea. And then um, it is beautiful. And I keep saying it, I'm going to get a Rituals Advent Calendar this year. I'm, I'm sure of it because I just love this stuff. Um, next thing, it was a little sachet. And I think I picked this up from Feel Unique. And it was a Phyto 7. It, was a, it says Hydrating Day Cream, but actually it's for your hair. I opened it and then I'd forgotten to use it. And I had it ages. I can't remember what it was like. Sorry. So... Anyway, it's gone. I can't give you any more information than that. Next thing is this Joe Hansford Intensive Mask. I got this from Latest in Beauty. It's a hair mask. It is gorgeous. It's absolutely amazing. This is definitely something I would consider purchasing at full size. And then, yeah, I really, really enjoyed it and it made my hair feel gorgeous. Um, we've got the Polar. Um, this is a hand cream. Um, we might have got this either in birch box or maybe look fantastic someone correct me anyway but it is a beautiful beautiful hand cream everything i've had by polar has been gorgeous so i think it's a really really um lovely brand well from what i've experienced of it so far so yes i i'm not sure of any hand creams probably for the next five years but if I were, I would consider purchasing this because it is really, really nice. And the smell was beautiful. I think it was like an Arctic berry or something. Um, does it say? With three types of Arctic berry. See what a memory. <laughs> so no, it was a lovely hand cream. Um, this was a bubble tea, hibiscus and acai berry tea um, body scrub. And I got this from Home Bargains. I think it was only about a pound. Um, so it's it's a weird consistency. It's um, a gel, but it feels like thicker than a shower gel. Um, it doesn't lather up as much as a shower gel. And it had um, like little scrubby beads in, but for me, there weren't enough beads in it and they weren't scratchy enough. I like a really like rough body scrub. And for me, this was neither a shower gel nor a body scrub. I was a little bit disappointed in it, if I'm honest. So I would not purchase it again, even at a pound. Um, and then this, this is so old. This is as old as the hills. And it is the Cow Shed um, Cow Pat Moisturising Hand Cream. 50 mils and I think this is one of the first things I got in one of my U beauty boxes like three years ago or something like that and um I just honestly at the time um when beauty boxes were so new to me and I was like really amazed at how much all these products were for what I paid for my box and I was really blown away by the value and I remember thinking like oh this hand cream so much money and then um, it's just really funny and then you become a bit sort of blase and laid back once you've been doing beauty boxes for ages and then um, you start to just expect that things are going to sort of be worth a lot of money and have quite a good value so um yeah i remember thinking at the time how expensive this hand cream was and i did like it and i think i had quite a few at that time you know when you get products that show up again and again in boxes because i'm pretty sure i gave my dad one of these as well because he has really dry hands so it must have been a really nice cream because otherwise i probably wouldn't have given my dad one um so yeah there we are i probably won't buy it but um it was fine and um, then i've got a really little tiny molten brown and it is in the sh the fragrance it's suede oris beautiful this is only a little tiny baby one and um, it was really nice it lasted a few baths um a couple of baths but yeah that was it the fragrance is always delicious on these i don't think you can get a bad molten brown oh it's um, my husband started pinching my molten brown now, so I'm not very happy. Um, then I have another molten brown, and this was um, the delicious rhubarb and rose. And yes, it was delicious. It was um, such a nice fragrance. I'm really enjoying like the rhubarb scents that I've had in um, my bath care this year. So that was really, really nice. And like they make great bubbles, but you can also use them as shower gels, and you don't need very much on. And the smell just lingers in your house. It just smells amazing. Um, I finished one of my l'oreal infallible 24-hour fresh wear this is kind of one of my like beauty basics and this is something that i do repurchase quite a lot i'm in the shade 125 which is um natural rose i feel it's a little bit dark for me now i'm in the middle of winter um 
and I was meant to go a couple of weeks ago and get more foundation and I still haven't. So I'm going to go tomorrow. So I might see about getting a slightly lighter shade just for the next month or two. But yeah, that's it. I love it. It has great coverage. It's really glowy without being too glowy and it does look really, really natural. Next thing, I had the Sanctuary Spa Firming Bath Soak. I've had so many bath products this month and um, I love this. It's in the original fragrance. It smells beautiful. It was part of a kit. I got a kit, like a, a set, a gift set I got at Christmas. And I just love it. It just, it really appeals to me and it's just quite a, it feels a nice, luxurious, relaxing fragrance and I love it. I've got an itchy babe, excuse me. It's like real problems, real problems, keeping it real. Um, I have finished this Yves Saint Laurent mascara. It was actually a really nice brush and I think I got it years and years and years ago. I think I got it like in... Um, I, want, I don't know if I had like a little um, eyeshadow and mascara kit for something. I can't remember, but I bet you this is like a good five or more years old, which is shocking. So we'll just put it away and not discuss that anymore. Um, I had this NYX Worth the Hype mascara. Um, this has seen better days now. It's past its best, but actually it's a really nice mascara. It's definitely worth one considering. And the wand on it is a nice bristly wand as you can see there it is really nice and then um, yeah I enjoyed using it and I think it's a good mascara um I had this Ica black magic mascara and I used to really really love this it's got a curved wand and um yeah it's it's fine it's nothing amazing and I think we've got one coming in one of our beauty boxes this month have we maybe um but yeah it's a curved one it's okay i have better mascaras now though um this is amazing and it's the number four high performance um smoothing balm 30 mils and oh i, I actually think i'm gonna buy this full size um i think i'll probably get it from look fantastic so i've got a lot of credits actually just now ready to be used um number one the smell is amazing oh, it's like literally it just smells like high-end salons. That's that's only way I can describe it. And then I had this in my hair one day and a girl that I worked with we were going on a course and she was driving and I got in the car and she was just like, oh, your hair smells amazing. What have you got in your hair? It smells gorgeous. And it was this. So um, she didn't say it looked gorgeous, but you know, that's fine. But um, yeah, it does smell lovely and it's a really nice product and you put it in and then blow dry and my hair felt glossy and soft and manageable and just amazing and really shiny i love it <laughs> i absolutely love it um i have this bar of soap which i opened up it is the Lux bar raw it is from it is um i want to just make sure i get this right it is a i think it was a kaolin clay bar of soap really nice it's like a proper hard block of salt assault hard block of soap um it's currently in my bathroom and yeah i just use it just to wash my hands with and then i don't use soap on my face but it is a really really nice bar of soap a real good sturdy one it doesn't go mushy with the water it's fab um, now my last empty um is this bam beautiful natural care for thinning hair thickening conditioning mask and um, promotes fuller and thicker hair gorgeous um I can't remember what I got this in, um, but I did win an Instagram prize last year and I got um, a huge like litre um, shampoo and conditioner from Bam Beautiful. And that's what really sort of made me sort of like take notice of the brand. And that was like a thickening shampoo and conditioner and I absolutely love it. And it's lasting ages and I've used it so much and I've got loads left, at least half. Um, but it's a beautiful shampoo and conditioner. So when that comes up in my empties, I'll talk about it more. But that is gorgeous, it smells clean, it makes my hair feel really clean. And this is beautiful. So I really think I'd quite like to explore this brand a little bit more. Um, this is like my real sort of like surprise thing from this month. It is gorgeous, I've really enjoyed that. And as you can see, I do use a lot of hair masks. So I feel like I am almost qualified to give opinion on hair masks. <laughs> so those are my empties. Now onto my declutters. So if you've seen a lot of my shop, my stashes and things, you'll have seen quite a few of these, but I just kind of want to like pull them all together in like my one official video every month for everything going out of my collection. Um, I'm just going to get this bag back. I really do think I've done so well this month. Um, I think what I'll do, I'm going to come here, I'm going to move back and I'm just going to put them 
in here as I do it because some of these I'm going to be passing on to other people. Other things will be going straight in the bin. The first thing that's going straight in the bin is this fresher skin, which I didn't open. If you saw my shot, my stash, it has separated. It's oily. It's grim. It's disgusting. So uh, we can't even just talk about that at all. It is gone. But I imagine if it was a nice new product, it probably quite nice. But um. We will never know. Um, next thing going out is a new by Nature powder. I do have another one. So this is a duplicate. I just didn't use it. And it was in one of my um, Use It or Lose It videos. I didn't use it, so I've lost it. I am staying true to it. It's gone. Um, likewise, there was a cream blusher by Collection. I'm just not using cream blushes at all. This is quite pink. And so, yeah, I don't want it. I'm being really strict this year with my things. If I'm not using them, they're going because I just don't want to keep drawers and drawers of makeup of stuff I'm never going to use. So if I can like get my collection down by half or even more than that, then that would be amazing. So yeah, I'm working so hard at that. And um, next thing that I have decluttering is this um, sleep oil by Seascape, but I'm going to be passing this on to somebody. Someone mentioned on my video that they would really like it. So I'm passing it on with a bit of love because it's not all, I don't want to be wasteful. And if there's something that somebody likes and would like to use, that's great. They can have it. So I'm going to pass that on. Um, there was this perfume. It's a perfume oil and I just didn't like it. It stunk and that was by Walden. And it's a shame because I wish like these are like natural ones. Some of them are gorgeous, but this, it just didn't suit me at all. I am decluttering some makeup. It's the L'Oreal True Match Highlighter. It is a really nice highlighter. It's a little trio. Um, there's nothing particularly wrong with it, but I have much nicer highlighters. And so why would I need this? I don't. Um, now, I haven't used this, and this is the Dr. Botanicals Coffee Superfood um, Facial Exfoliator. Now, the reason why I'm decluttering this is because it, I got this at the same time as um, when there was a little bit of um, controversy about the per sleeping mask um, from Lettuce and Beauty, and some people's were mouldy and off. This was at the same time that that came on the same month's selection so I figured I'm just going to get rid of it rather than keeping it in case there was any risk about it being old or out of date and I, particularly because it's going on my face um and to be honest it really stinks of coffee and I know it's a coffee scrub but I just don't want my face to smell like an espresso coffee so it's going um out it goes um get rid of this lipstick it was a terrible color it is just so pale it doesn't look too bad there but honestly it's not very nice at all so that's gone and there was um this one by revolution in the shade chauffeur which i love but in this formula and then um it just wasn't as nice it was slightly paler than the um other one that i had in the golden um bullet so that's going as well I have far too many lipsticks. I've got loads. I need to do a video, I think, on decluttering my lipsticks because I've got way too many. I've bought so many lipsticks in my life that I buy them, I get them home, I put them on, and I'm like, oh, that's not how I thought it was going to be. And I have lots that are, like, really too pale. Um, so, they, yeah, I really need to sort of sit down and go through my lipsticks. I could probably just declutter a load in one go. Um, I'm getting rid of this MUA Velvet Lip Lacquer. The formula was horrible. The colour was horrible. And this Max Factor lipstick, it was just too pale for me. If you want to see more on these, do have a look at my um, shop, my stashes and things. I've discussed them a lot more. Um, also going out is the Figs and Rouge Soft Pore, Soft Focus Pore Perfect HD and Matte Veil. Um, this is a primer and honestly, I just didn't see the point of it. It did absolutely nothing for my skin. So it has gone. And then um, this is a sleek... Um, matte lipstick in the shade birthday suit now i love the formula but the color looks dreadful on me so that's just a shame that's just a bit of bad luck but it is bad luck because that shade shows up a lot in beauty boxes and advent calendars so if i get another one and it's sealed i know that i can gift it and pass it on because i know it doesn't suit me um this was a contour stick by black up which apparently actually is for women with darker skin tones um i didn't know that and to be fair it worked not bad however I dropped the end of it, well, the whole block, and it rolled underneath one of my units, never to be seen again. I need my husband to do a little bit of um, rejigging in my room so I can retrieve it and bin it. Um, 
I'm decluttering this, which makes me sad. I'm going to pass it on to somebody that I'm that will like it. But for me, it was a bit nothingy, and I have much nicer sort of like neutrally palettes. And um, so that was the um, Maybelline Total Temptation palette, and it's like little peachy shades. I've got like a little, it's almost like two palettes in one. Um, it's sort of like got some warm tones and some cool tones, but no, it was just. It's terrible. Um, I have the Lumine um, Instant Glow Fresh Skin Tint. I know so many people love it. I don't like it, but I am going to be gifting it to somebody, so I'll keep that out there. Um, this Studio 10 Makeup Mist Glow Plexion nearly took my eyeballs out. It's such a fierce spray. It's leaking. It's disgusting. Look at the state of it, and that's what it does to that. So I don't really fancy that on my face. Gone. Um, this was from my um, use it or lose it, two years old, still not used it, so I'm going to lose it. Um, and then I had this tan extender, which was a fake tan, it's over a year old, I had opened it to try, put it down to try it within two weeks, haven't used it, so I am going to get rid of it, it's probably um, expiring now and going past its best. But I really do want to get into fake tanning, but I just don't know why I haven't sort of quite taken that plunge yet. Maybe this weekend. Um, Bang Beauty, this eyeliner is going. Um, yeah, it's this one that almost blinded me. Um, I think it just leaked everywhere. And oh, was it a really scratchy one? No, it's this one. Um, I had one, honestly, on my video, my eye was just full of eyeliner. It just poured out and just went everywhere. So yeah, it's going. Um, I actually finished this one, so I'm not sure why it's in here. It's a code SSL. Well, actually, no, it got stuck in the lid, but it was quite a nice um, lip liner. I have got another one of those though. And then this was dreadful. It's a Lord & Berry Concealer Crayon. Really thick, hard, horrible colour. It might be good if you want to like carve your brows out. I think that might be a useful thing for that. But as an actual concealer, I probably wouldn't recommend it. Um, I had an eye primer by Revolution, the Focus and Fix Eye Primer. And it was really watery and, yeah, it just didn't do anything. I kind of take my foundation onto my eyelids. I don't know if you meant to do that or not, but I always have done. So I think it kind of primes them a little bit anyway. Um, and then this was the most hideous colour pink gloss ever known to man. And it was a Revolution one and I hate it. And it's gone. Um Oh, so this naturally was a really nice um lip balm and it is um uh it's petroleum free 100% natural i now can't get the lid off and somebody else commented on my video and said they've got one and now their lid has become stuck as well so i think that must be a bit of a design fault or something to do with the product i'm not sure but anyway it's going which is a shame but i just can't get into it we're nearly there guys well done <laughs> um code a oh this is the one I think this is the one, the precision, yeah, the other eyeliner was the one, I think it was really scratchy and hard, this is the one, I think it's the, um, the code A, and it just poured all of my eyeballs, um, I have got some really nice black eyeliners though, so I don't care that I'm getting rid of it, it's good, it's gone, um, the number 7, I feel like I'm talking really fast, sorry, I'm trying to keep it short, the number 7, Intense Volume Mascara, I got this in my number 7 advent calendar, I think, absolutely diabolical what a shame that is not a volumizing mascara i think it might be useful if you wear false lashes and you just want to put a bit of color on your lash first without any sort of like bolt to your lashes but i found it terrible it's kind of pretty much brand new i've used it once or twice and it was rubbish um skinny dip dirty works lip gloss i got this in the latest in beauty box it's Stinks. It is old. At the time it came out, um, somebody else that had got it had said it stunk. And I couldn't smell it at the time. But thanks to Use It or Lose It, I pulled it out of my collection to try it again. And as soon as I sniffed it, oh, humming. It's gone. Um, Steve Laurent lip colour. This is a lip gloss, but it is not a gloss. I really don't know what it is. Um, it's more like a tinted balm it's meant to be a lip gloss but it really isn't glossy and it's just too pale for your lips not right for your cheeks um i'm not sure how you would use it and i'm really sad because it looks so beautiful but i'm decluttering it because i'm not keeping anything in my collection that i'm not going to use um this lip crayon by php um was the most 
awful pinky purple shade. I don't know who it would ever suit. And so that's getting decluttered, it's gone in the bin. And then this tart um, lip crown in the shade Lucky. It looks like it's growing some white fungus over it. And um, it is a horrible colour. So that's gone. Right, just got a couple of palettes now left to do. So I'm getting rid of the Chisel Cheeks Barry M little palette. There's nothing particularly wrong with this. It's um, like some um, contour or bronzers, have you want to sort of call it. But it was fine. But I've got nicer things actually in my collection now. So I am decluttering because I'm trying to minimise, well, reduce my collection. Um, I'm going to see if anybody wants this or something because it is the Beauty Crop. And it's the Dawn Gazing palette. And I really wanted to love this. Whoops. Um, I really wanted to love it, but I don't. And so it's going. But it's such a shame because it does look gorgeous, but it just doesn't work for me at all. Um, and then likewise, I've got two little palettes here. I got both of these on the same day a couple of years ago in TK Maxx. So this is the Celestial Rose palette. It's all shimmers, but they're very nothingy. So that's going. And then we had this um, Wild Rose. It's maybe like a face kit palette. But again, they don't really do anything. There. That's 60 products, I think. So at least I'm in a deficit. I've got less in my collection than what I did have this time last month. And that's with getting 46 new items. So yeah, thank you for watching. Wow, that was... a. <laughs> I need a cup of tea. Yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you all again very soon. And um, yeah, take care. Bye. <laughs>